we've got Eastley in 11th place in the National League against Aldershot, 6th in the National League. But they're not playing for points, they're playing for progression to the fourth round of the FA Trophy. Level K, 17, Chris Maguire. 18, Bailey Clements. 20, Scott Quigley. Two changes then for the shots who line up with Jordi Van Stappershurf in goal. Harfield, Harries and Rowe still the back three. Glover and Minoga the wing backs. Frost and Willard uh, in the centre of midfield. The changes come up top. Josh Stokes is rested to the bench. Joe Haig comes in, the former Chelsea starlet. And uh, Tolage keeps his place up top alongside Kwame Thomas, who replaces Jack Barham, who came off with a knock against Stockport County. It might well be that Widgen would have called for uh, Kwame Thomas today anyway with the, the uh, imposing physical presence of Quigley and McCallum up top for Eastley. I'll go through their team in just a minute, but they launching an attack now. It's cleared away by Harry's up towards Thomas, who battles away well. So here now, we're in the third minute. Eastley nil, shots nil, but a corner to be taken by Chris Maguire. A header comes in. At the near post, it may have even come off Harfield's head, actually. Ball, but Willard does well to win it. And then he's just given away a misplaced pass again. It's played inside to Jaden Harris. He's going to try a shot. And it squirms underneath Van Stappershurf, who has had another unfortunate moment here at the Silver Lake. In truth, the left-footed shot from the edge of the area by Jaden Harris was quite weakly struck. It should have been a routine save for Van Stappershurf, but it squirmed underneath him. And would you believe it, football poetry, Jaden Harris, the former shots player, on loan for Eastley. I beg your pardon, my maths is out, seven and a half. Here's Harry's finding Frost in a little bit of space to roam into. He's getting to the edge of the area now and tries a little ball. It doesn't come off, but it comes back to him and Harfield will clip a ball in. Kwame Thomas. Great header, brilliantly saved by Tommy Scott. Far and away, Aldershot Town's best effort of the afternoon. Lovely cross from Ollie Harfield. And Thomas got a lot of power into that header. And that was a quite brilliant save by Tommy Scott, deputising for Joe McDonnell this afternoon. Fire row to Stokes and then Harry's. He pings it out to the right side. It's a good ball and it's well taken by Glover. Up against his man now on the edge of the penalty area. Plays it inside. Joe Haig tries a shot. It's spilt by Scott and Tolledge is almost there. But he can't get there. Scott reacts well and he'll be pleased with his first half so far. Tommy Scott as uh, 39 minutes are completed here. Our referee David McNamara who's let this game flow when he can. Tolledge tries a turn, doesn't come off. Haig comes away with the ball. Take, oh, he goes down just inside the penalty area. Penalty to Aldershot down, or is it a free kick? I thought the shove was on the line, and he fell inside the line. The referee's looking at the spot, and he's showing a red card. So I would imagine as Franchilette is going to get the red card for Eastleigh. Oh, the irony that a home player has been sent off in this game. Three times in the past, an Aldershot player's gone off, and it was right on the line. And we still await confirmation. What we do know is that Franchillette's afternoon is over. It's a red card for Ludwig Franchillette, the number six. Penalty area might have had a good chance of his first shot's goal. Corner taken by Eastley is cleared away by Ali Harfield, only as far as Jaden Harris. And he finds Chris Maguire again. He twists one way, then the other. He'll clip the ball in with his left foot. It's missed by everybody. And oh. Aldershot couldn't quite clear it away with Haji Minoga stumbled and it just bounced off of him straight into the path of Paul McCallum who yet again scores against Aldershot Town and that will be one of the easiest goals Paul McCallum's ever scored and just as you thought that Aldershot Town might have a way back into this game they go 2-0 down to the 10 men of uh, Eastleigh have lost out Glover's lost out to Jaden Harris, who's so good at picking pockets. A clipped ball over the top, Quigley running onto it. And he's up against Ollie Scott. Bit of a physical mismatch there. Squared over, looking for McCallum, who just gets his foot to it in front of Rowe. 
turns a little effort on goal and Van Stappershoef traps it under some part of his body and keeps that one out. He's already taken it and uh, found Ollie Scott who's fed the ball to Kean Harries and Aldershot Town, if you're going to go further in the FA Trophy, it's time to deliver. Great take from Barham, gets in, shoots, what a goal! First touch for Jack Barham, ghosting onto the pass, controlling it beautifully and half volleying it past Scott Eastley's clean sheet has gone. The shot's back in it, Eastley two, shots one. And I may need to just double check this, but I think it might have been... I think it might have been Frost, actually, who found the pass. Here's Aldershot getting in again. Uh, Lon Tolage on his left foot shoots. That's spilled, but gathered again at the second attempt by Tolage. And Aldershot Town have come alive here. Themselves a second goal. And keep their FA Trophy season alive against the ten men of, Aldershot, of, of Eastley. And, you know, with the amount of goals Aldershot have scored this season, you wouldn't bet against them doing it. Here's a ball clipped over the top from Harry's. Again, it's Barham. Oh, again, he takes it down well. And this time he fizzes his shot high and wide. Shots in possession in their own half. Glover out to Ollie Scott. Overlapping run is a good one. Harfield onto it. Barham's in the middle. Thomas is in the middle. Tolage is in the middle. It's pulled to the edge of the area. Frost can't get his shot away. Tolage, Tolage has got it. Half cleared. Followed up by Haji Minoga. And all the shot are level here against the ten men of Eastleigh. Our online listeners have got it. I'll bring our radio listeners up to date in just a moment. Shots level with the Portsmouth Loney Haji Minoga. Harfield takes it quickly to Glover. Uh, Thomas and Barham want the cross. Cross comes in from the left. Kwame Thomas is up, it's come back out to him. Follow up, shot, half cleared, blocked on the line. Eastley are at sixes and sevens right now. They've got five minutes to win it in normal time. Otherwise, this might go to penalties unless Eastley can conjure something up with ten men. Here's Harry's. Harry's into Harfield. Harfield out wide to Scott and Scott back inside to Harry's. Aldershot just trying to draw one or two Eastley players out. Harfield's got it now. Tries the cross. In it comes. Tolage header is weak and straight at the goalkeeper. And another chance goes begging for the shots in the 91st minute. Tolage with the header from Harfield's cross. Uh, Colchester have pulled a goal back against Crawley. It's 2-1 there. Crawley need to hang on for these final few minutes. Here at the Silver Lake, Glover's got the ball on the left-hand side, level with the edge of the penalty area, does a 1-2 with Scott, gets through, pulls it back. Um, Tolage can't get there, comes out to Frost. He feeds Scott. Scott comes out again, Barham squares it, Tolage. What a save, what a brilliant save. Tolage seven yards out, smashed it at the goal, and he smashed it at Scott. The ball went up in the air, and it came down kindly for Scott. That is far and away the most clear-cut chance for shots since they went 2-2 in the 94th minute. And Lauren Tolage just can't get a goal this afternoon. Back into the order shot half. 94 minutes, 57, 58, 59, 95 are up. And the referee blows the final whistle here at the Silver Lake, where shots have come back from 2-0 to 2-all. But despite a plethora of chances in the final uh, 20 minutes couldn't find themselves a winner have been settled this one remains in the balance penalty shootout here at the silver lake stadium in the uh, third round of the fa trophy um, and geordie van stapperscherf who got sent off here in the league game and who let in a relatively soft goal in the first half here has got the opportunity to make amends scott quigley very experienced and reliable striker will step up to take the first penalty here. Van Stappershoef goes to his right, Quigley goes down the middle, and it's 1-0 to the home side. And here he steps up against Scott with Schott's first penalty. And he sends Scott to the right, he goes to Scott's left. 
and that one nestles to the cheers of the 406 shots faithful uh, away to my right and over on the far side behind the goal away to our right Maguire against Van Stappershoef high and into the roof of the net as Van Stappershoef again goes away to his right Scott remains on the goal line Kean Harris the regular shots penalty taker steps up left footed and just rolls it calmly into the net calm as you like Barlow now Barlow the player that Van Stappershoef took out when he got his red card in the league game there can be no better moment to even up the score there than this Barlow steps up Van Stappershoef dives left and Barlow goes to his right and it's Eastley 3, Aldershot Town 2 and so far Van Stappershoef who can't buy a bit of luck here at the Silver Lake has guessed the wrong way all three times Tolladge had four of them but every time Eastley blocked his path, can they block his path again? Tolladge scores, keeper away to his right Tolladge tucks it into the side netting, a quite brilliant penalty from the Swiss Panther against Van Stappershoef, left footed. And he's put it wide. Van Stappershoef went the right way. Next up, Tyler Frost against Scott. Steps up, right footed. Beautifully nestles the ball into the corner. Eastley three, shots four. The last penalty each then for either side. First up for the home side, Enzio Baldwin against Van Stappershoef, who goes the wrong way. And it is 4-4. Can he take the last decisive action here at the Silver Lake as well today for Aldershot Town, who again went 2-0 down, who again got level. And Kobe Rowe blazes over the bar and it remains 4-4 after five penalties each. Rowe leaning back. Remember Carlisle, remember Gateshead. Up steps Atten Garner against Van Stappershoef. Brilliant save! One-handed up in the air. And finally the Dutchman has his moment for the shots. An outstanding save, diving away to his left with his right hand up in the air. And it remains 4-4. And it's Jack Barham who will get the opportunity as the sixth penalty taker for the shots to wrap this one up. Barham scores! Eastley 2, order shot 2. And the shots progress to the fourth round of the FA Trophy. It's not penalty heartbreak today. From zero to hero, Jordi van Stappershoef makes the crucial save. Jack Barham, who came off the bench to tuck away Schott's first goal before Minoga levelled the scores. Barham, it is who seals the deal here at the Silver Lake. Final score in the FA Trophy. Eastley 2, Aldershot Town 2. And Eastley 4, Aldershot Town 5. On penalties, Tim.